Mehmed Husrev Pasha was an Ottoman Karpudan Pasha of the Ottoman Navy and statesman who reached the position of Grand Vizier rather late in his career. Between 2 July 1839 and 8 June 1840 in the reign of Abdum Said I, however, during the 1820s, he occupied key administrative roles in the fight against regional warlords, the reformation of the army and the reformation of Turkish attire. In Egypt, he was a protege of Kukuk Huzia Pasha, a reformer who became Karpudan Pasha in 1792. In 1801, Husrev Pasha commanded the 6,000 Turkish troops who assisted the British in removing the French from Rashid. For this, he was made governor of Egypt Ilet, in which position he was charged with assisting Husia Pasha in the killing or imprisoning the surviving leaders of the Mamluks. Many of these were freed by or fled with the British, while others held Minya between Upper and Lower Egypt. Amid these disturbances, Husrev Pasha attempted to disband his Albanian Bashi Baizuks without pay. This led to rioting that drove him from Cairo to Dami Eta, where he was ultimately captured by a combined Mamluk Albanian army. He was later made governor again by Muhammad Ali for two days, although he held no real power. He was released later. Karpudan Pasha, governor of Trabzon. Husrev Pasha held the rank of Karpudan Pasha of the Ottoman Navy from 1811 to 1818. He was then appointed governor of the Vilaya of Trabzon twice, during which time he conducted for the Black Sea region of Turkey the struggle the central Ottoman state was waging against local feudal rulers. Greek War of Independence during the Greek War of Independence, he was appointed Karpudan Pasha again in the end of 1822. In this role, he captured and destroyed the island of Sarah in June 1824 and then moved against Samos, where he was joined by the Egyptian fleet. During the months of July and August, several skirmishes and constant maneuvers followed between the Ottoman and Greek fleets, culminating in the Battle of Gerontes, a Greek victory modernizer of the army. In 1826, Husrev Pasha played vital roles both in the auspicious incident and in the formation of the new Manshur army, modeled after those of European powers. Appointed as Saraska of the Manshur in May 1827, Husrev reformed and disciplined the corps. Himself ignorant of modern military methods, he assembled a staff of foreign experts and other personnel to assist him with the Saraskaria, which constituted the first staff in Ottoman history. Due to his early championing of military reform and virtual control over the new Ottoman army, Husrev was able to install many of his protagas in senior military positions. In total, Husrev's household produced more than 30 generals. Adoption of children raised to become high-ranking officers. Husrev Pasha adopted at early ages up to 100 children, sometimes including slaves bought at market, who, after an attentive education, later became his protégés and rose to important positions in the state structure, the most notable of these being Ibrahim Adham Pasha, a child from Shios bought in an Izmir slave market in 1822 after the horrific Shios massacre. Levy mentions that in the 27,000-strong initial Manshur army of 1827, the direct ancestor to today's Turkish army, the officer corps included a core group of 70 to 80 of Husrev Pasha's children. Adoption of the Fez to replace the turban. Husrev Pasha was also instrumental for the near abandonment of the turban and the adoption of the Fez as a universal headgear for Muslim men of the Ottoman Empire under Sultan Mahmud II. He had seen the Fez as worn occasionally by Tunisians and Algerians during a Mediterranean journey and introduced it to the Ottoman capital, from which the custom spread to all Ottoman lands including the nominal dependency of Egypt. It is to be noted that dress and headgear often signified symbol-laden and politically charged statements in Turkish lands.